हेलो भिवार्स वेलकाम टू माई चैनल बायोलजी नोट्स टूडे आई उल डिसकस दि एंडोजेनस पाथवे अफ एंटीजें प्रसेसिंग एंड प्रेजेंटेशन बै एम एच सी मलिक्यूल्स जेनारे क्लस वन एम एच सी मलिक्यूल्स आर इनवल्व इन दिस पाथवे क्लस वन एम एच सी मलिक्यूल्स कलेेक्ट एंड प्रेजेंट एंटीजेंस दैट आर कम फ्रम इंटर सेलुलर लोकेशन अफ दि सेल The antigens may be self peptides, tumor or viral peptides, etc. Now the question comes: Why endogenous pathway is required? In eukaryotic cells, the protein levels are carefully regulated. Every protein is subjected to continuous turnover and is degraded at a rate. which is generally expressed in terms of its half life some proteins for example transcription factors cyclins etc have very short half life denatured misfolded abnormal proteins are also degraded rapidly now what happen most of the peptides will be degraded to their constituent amino acids and recycled but some persist in the cytosol as peptides so now the cells display these peptides on their surface via class 1 mhc molecules for the final degradation by the immune cells now I will discuss the pathway. This is a diagram showing an overview of endogenous pathway for processing antigen. Suppose this is an endogenous antigen. It is degraded by the proteasome. As a result, proteins are converted into smaller peptides. the peptides are then transported from the cytosol to the rough endoplasmic reticulum here mhc class 1 molecules are synthesized next class 1 mhc molecules bind with peptides mhc class 1 molecules with peptides then enter golgi complex for further processing then the whole complex transported to the cell membrane for final degradation by cytotoxic t cells now i will discuss the steps in more details first i will discuss how proteins are degraded into small peptides see the diagram showing cytosolic proteolytic system for degradation of intracellular proteins a cytosolic proteolytic system called the proteasome is present in all cells this is 20s proteasome intracellular proteins are degraded into short peptides by this proteasome this proteasome is composed of alpha and beta subunits arrayed in a barrel like structure of symmetrical rings it has a 19s regulatory component this proteasome is also known as standard or constitutive proteasome now many proteins are targeted for proteolysis when a small protein called ubiquitin is attached to them now this ubiquitin protein conjugates enter the proteasome complex through a narrow channel at the 19s end next the proteasome complex cleaves peptide bonds in an atp dependent process here i have drawn a diagram of standard or constitutive proteasome this kind of proteasomes are present in all cells 
in addition to the standard 20s proteasomes a distinct proteasome of the same size can be found in activated antigen presenting cells and the cells of infected tissues this distinct proteasome is called the immunoproteasome actually it is the modified version of standard or constitutive proteasome by exposure to interferon gamma or tnf alpha few catalytic subunits like beta 1 beta 2 and beta 5 are replaced by beta 1i beta 2i and beta 5i subunits these subunits are encoded by lmp2 and lmp7 genes which are located within the class 1 region these subunits increase the production of peptides that bind efficiently to mhc class 1 proteins so our peptides are ready for transportation from the cytosol to the rough endoplasmic reticulum now i will elaborate this step means how peptides enter to rough endoplasmic reticulum from cytosol see this diagram this is a transporter protein known as transporter associated with antigen processing or tap this is a membrane spanning heterodimer present on the membrane of rough endoplasmic reticulum it is consisting of two proteins tap1 and tap2 the cytosolic domain in each tap subunit contains an atp binding site now see this diagram peptides generated in the cytosol by the proteasome are translocated by tap into the rough endoplasmic reticulum by a process that requires the hydrolysis of atp tap has affinity for peptides containing 8 to 16 amino acids the optimal peptide length for class 1 mhc binding is around 9 amino acids longer peptides are trimmed by enzymes present in the endoplasmic reticulum such as endoplasmic reticulum amino peptidase or erap so the peptides are ready to be loaded onto the class 1 mhc molecule now i will discuss these steps see this diagram it is showing the assembly and stabilization of class 1 mhc molecules the alpha chain and beta 2 microglobulin components of the class 1 mhc molecule are synthesized on ribosomes on the rough endoplasmic reticulum the assembly process involves several steps and includes the participation of molecular chaperons that facilitate the folding of polypeptides the first molecular chaperon involved in class 1 mhc assembly is colnexin it is a membrane protein of the rough endoplasmic reticulum this is class 1 mhc alpha chain this is erp57 a protein with enzymatic activity so the association or combination of these three components help the folding of class 1 mhc alpha chain then beta 2 microglobulin binds to the alpha chain and colnexin is released at the same time the class 1 molecule associates with the chaperon col reticulin and with tapasin tapasin or tap associated protein 
brings the tap transporter into proximity with the class 1 molecule and allows it to acquire an antigenic peptide the tap protein promotes peptide capture by the class 1 molecule before the peptides are exposed to the luminal environment of the rough endoplasmic reticulum then exoproteases in the endoplasmic reticulum will act on peptides not associated with class 1 mhc molecules one endoplasmic reticulum amino peptide is erap1 removes the amino terminal residue from peptides to achieve optimum class 1 binding site erap1 has little affinity for peptides shorter than 8 amino acids in length now the class 1 mhc molecule binds with peptide and displays increased stability and can dissociate from the complex with colreticulin tapasin and erp57 finally the class 1 molecule can then exit from the rough endoplasmic reticulum and proceed to the cell surface via the golgi complex so this is all about the endogenous pathway of antigen processing and presentation by class 1 mhc molecules if you have any query please comment share the video if you like subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos stay with us keep watching thank you